Okay, are you serious? Have we got rid of the mirror image? I mean, come on, guys. I'm tired of talking about the mirrors. What? I think I might have solved the mirror image issue. And while I'm at it, the quality of the video looks spectacular. It's almost like Eastern Standard Time. It's spectacular. And oh, by the way, for my Catholic friends, yes, the crucifix is back. For those of you who struggle with it, relax, calm down. We're not worshiping a dead Jesus. We know he's arisen from the dead. We know he died on the cross. And the crucifix basically shows you and reminds you of the suffering of Christ. But folks, he did not, he is not a dead Jesus. He's alive! He rose from the dead with the keys of hell and death. He emerged from the tomb with the powerful resurrection power. And he has risen and ascended back to the Father. And he's sitting on the right hand of God, waiting and making intercession for the saints as we speak. And yes, he shall return. He is coming. And the question is, are you ready? Oh, Paul, don't, 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 don't. Don't start asking me if I'm saved. Don't ask me if I'm born again. Don't ask me if I've been baptized. Don't ask me if I'm saved and washed in the blood of the Lamb. That's exactly what I'm going to ask you. While I'm at it, you ponder on those for a moment. Just sit and dwell on it a second. Hang on! Because tomorrow, I want you to do, do me a favor. Now that we have this new technology. And you can call it PBT if you want to, Paul Begley Technology. It doesn't bother me. PBT. I'm actually going to get t-shirts made that says PBT. Jesus is on the throne. Okay? PBT Technology. Paul Begley Technology. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Tomorrow I will be live. I, I'm going to do some YouTube videos in the morning. Three, four, maybe five. Because this new technology is so much quicker. Then at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'll be live on radio around the world, on internet radio, and 1710 AM, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'll be live on LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. Live every day, Monday through Friday, on LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. Simultaneously broadcasting and video streaming. Well, you can go to LibertyBroadcasting.com. You can watch it. You can see the chat room, get involved in it, watch it, the live streaming right there. Or, you want to go to justin.tv, I'll be live streaming right there, simultaneously at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till 3 p.m. The name of the show, Coming Apocalypse, libertybroadcastingnetwork.com, with a live chat room and live streaming. Also, same exact time. Justin.tv live streaming video with a chat room and simultaneously blog tv.com with a live chat room. All of these things happening at the same moment and I'll be jumping back and forth between three chat rooms staring into two cameras but reaching a worldwide audience. I want you to be a part of it. Now here's the reason we're doing it. People are getting saved every day. And if you're watching any of those programs today and you decide you want to become a Christian or right now, right here on YouTube, I highly recommend, I don't care where you're at, go to my YouTube videos, go to my channel. It's Paul Begley 34. We got over 6,600 some subscribers. Go hit the personal messages or the private message or the personal inbox, whatever it is, with a private message. If you want to become a Christian and you don't want everybody in the world to be involved in your decision, but you want me to help pray with you, you send me a personal message and you title it, I want to be saved. Because I get about 200 emails a day, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, 34, Paul Begley 34, or uh, on my e personal email box. Okay, I get 200 at least messages a day. And usually three, four, five people a day are asking this question. I want to be saved. I want you to become one of those people that get born again. Because we know right now, if you watch the signs of what's going on, look what's going on. The dead birds. See the, see the painting behind me here? 
Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. The reason we wrote the book. And here's the book, actually. And you can find out more about the book. If you want to check out more about this book, you can go to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Uh, that's paulbegleyprophecy.com. Again, that's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I wrote this book because of the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. Matter of fact, can I just read to you the, uh, the introduction? Just, just, just let me read the intro. Because I'm not doing it because I'm trying to sell a bunch of books. I'm trying to do this because God gave me the, the words. God gave me this book to write because he gave me the re revelation of what's called the Hosea prophecy. Okay? And the, here is the Hosea prophecy. The Bible says, hear the word of the Lord. This is out of the Bible, out of the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there's no truth, there's no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, and because by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out, and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field, the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. That's found right in the Bible, in the, in the book of Hosea, in the fourth chapter, verses 1, 2, and 3. Let me read to you the introduction of this book, which people are reading. And every time people, you can read this book, it's an easy read. It has 11 uh, pictures in it, illustrations, including the one right here. This is the cover of the book. And this is one of the illustrations in the book. This is called Rachel Weeping for Her Children. Okay? Rachel Weeping for Her Children. Here's what it says in the introduction of the book. People are frightened. Really frightened. They may not be serving God, but they do fear. He is real and that there is indeed one coming one, a day when the world as we know it will end. To fear God is the beginning of wisdom, and I am a simple country preacher. I know God is real and that his son, Jesus Christ, is coming back just as he said he would. Now, no one knows the actual time, but there seems to be an abundance of signs lately that Christ may soon return with the sound of the trumpet. My concern is that so few people are ready. If someone could just alert people of the truth. Hmm. If someone would just alert them, the people, to the truth. All the signs are right where they've always been. In the Holy Bible. The only true source available to man. God has already revealed all we need to know within its anointed pages. It's just up to us to seek, to find and to heed his words. The moment 2011 arrived, I boarded a roller coaster search through the Bible that keeps taking my breath away. I've, I've been called to share this trip with as many people who are willing to join me, and I'm inviting you to embark with me on a journey to join me into an incredulous journey which spans the millenniums from ancient scripts of prophecy to the digital newsprint of modern day events. What follows is a light speed ride into the exploration of scripture and the revealing of the Holy Spirit about this year's unfolding events. It begins with birds, dead birds. And, begin, and then the book begins to tell you about the 5,000 blackbirds that fell out of the sky in BB, Arkansas. Listen to me for a minute. Time's running out. We've, it also talks about dead birds, the dead fish, the dead cows, the dead whales, the 7,000 bald eagles that eat the dead carcasses there in, many, in uh, Vancouver, Canada, about the 7,000 dead buffaloes that fell dead in, in Vietnam and South Korea and, and, and Cambodia, about the 10,000 cattle that died in Russia, the swarms of locusts in Ethiopia, the uprisings of the Arab Spring, the earthquake in Japan. It's all there, and it gives you the Bible prophecies that confirm the very events that's happening before your very eyes. Go to my website, do it right now if you want to know more about this and get ready because time is running out. I'm Paul Begley. This is
without question, tomorrow, one of the most powerful radio programs streaming live on LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com, Justin.tv, and BlogTV.com, and you can even see it all at my website, which is incredible. Tomorrow at 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where? Where's my website? PaulBegleyProphecy.com. Just go there tomorrow. I've got my own personal chat room. You can watch the program live right there. Streaming live with a chat room right there at PaulBegleyProphecy.com. I'll be right back. God bless all of you. Stay with me today. This thing ain't over. Stay with me. Oh, by the way, that's not a messianic ring. That's an $89 ring from J.C. Penny as a birthday gift, in case you're wondering. God bless. I'll be right back. In Jesus' name.